Okay, so we just finished testing it. Now let's go ahead and finish making the class. Uh, let's see. Go back to the data source class. And our next method is going to be um, add marker, which will allow us to add a marker to the database. So and we're not going to return anything. But we will uh, we will need something to pass something into the um, parameters, and we're going to pass a my marker object. Just call that M. And what we're going to do with that object is we're going to just get all of the um, uh, you know the parameters out of that object, and in order to insert, we have to we call a method on the database called dot insert, and that method requires uh, content values um, to be passed into it. So we'll use those content values, and it's just like a regular class. And the way we is, the way it works is it's just a um, it's it's like a it's sort of like a list. It's just uh, you know, um, oops, uh, key value store. The key is the um, the column name, and the value is um, you know the value that you want to put into that row. So MySQL helper dot uh, we'll call this the title or we'll put the title in here and m dot get title so that's the way it works and remember the reason why we're calling uh, mysql helper is just because we gave those we, we use we're using those public uh, um, variables that we we uh, made in, in that class. And, oops. Oh, shoot. Okay. And this last one will be position. Okay, and now we call db dot insert. And if you notice, there's a table, uh, a null column hack, and content values. So table is my SQL helper dot table name null and v. And there you go. And that should be it. And we'll test this out in the next video.